Tuesday. For today's Tech Tuesday, we thought, why not share ways to help life become a little bit easier for those who truly need it? Kara's here to break it all down. And Kara, I'm so happy we're doing this. Yeah, we wanted to open dialogue to talk about people who have other abilities and that the, than what the world is designed for. Right. Because I think a lot of us take so many things for granted. Um, people in wheelchairs can be limited to where they can go, which is not something everyone might want to think about or I know, you know we, we have to. yeah we have to and we want to help those so we're going to share with you some of these apps uh the majority of them free too. Wow, so this is good. I love yes, that. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. So the first app we are sharing is called Be My Eyes and this is actually a uh, mentioned in a post-show meeting one day by producer Lydia because she has it and here's what it is. It is used to help those around us who are vision impaired. It's an app on your phone. You can use it Apple or Android. It connects with your um, blind or low vision friends, people you don't know though, with sighted volunteers. So you're the sighted volunteer. It connects with somebody who Ha needs help all right it works through live video calls so here's how it works someone needs your help puts out an alert and then you can answer and help them through their issue for example people help you find dropped items describing pictures reading labels shopping or just navigating new places it's completely it's free Lydia was saying that she has gotten a call she gets this alert on her phone she clicks on it and then um, like she helps somebody you know pick out their socks one day because they couldn't tell exactly what color they were so it can be you know little things Things like that or maybe something you know like navigating a new place like we uh, just told you but yeah. what a what a useful tool so it's you once you download mm -hmm. it then you basically will get that signal that somebody in your vicinity needs your help right Am right I yes that right and Lydia said you know there are so many volunteers that oftentimes she'll go to help somebody and then somebody else is already helping them I love that but um, yeah what a community you can form and help people who need it all right this next one is called wheel May. it's a free app and it's designed for those in wheelchairs so they can easily find access to restrooms and parking it allows users to rate the restrooms too in parking areas um, and you can Ooh. rate it by things like cleanliness, convenience, and of course accessibility. Uh, so it'll save you so much time on knowing where to go and maybe more importantly what to avoid. So from restaurants um, and parking, um, yeah we're going to get into another way to help uh, people in wheelchairs too in just a second but I think that's so important because a lot of times you don't know until you get there and then the caretaker is trying to figure out if this is accessible for their friend. Yes, yeah. I know. It's it can be very mm -hmm. frustrating. Again, these are just simple ways that thank goodness for technology that's um, making these lives easier. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so this next one um, is called Fuel Service. This app helps disabled drivers um, or perhaps those in wheelchairs get assistance while refueling their vehicles. Mm. Uh, so just think about how challenging it is for people who you know don't know if they're going to be able to access the pump. So here's what it does. It will show you which gas stations have attendants who can help. And if there isn't an attendant listed, the app will then contact the station for you to see if there's someone inside that can assist you. Great. Once you arrive, you'll let them know on the app they will be alerted and they come out to help you. It'll let you know like it'll be three or four minutes. It could be longer, Perfect. but um, this is also a free app and you can also rate. So if you're going somewhere, then you can see which ones have done better than others. Wow. Oh, right. Yeah. That's always mm -hmm. good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good for the five stars or the four and a half. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. I like this next one too. This next one's pretty neat. I think this is the only one that might have a small fee to it, but it's called Cough Drop. Oh. Okay. And some people are hard to understand, hard to hear. It's through no fault of their own, but different mm -hmm. abilities different abilities like autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, just make it harder for those people to communicate on their own. So Cough Drop, this is their proprietary software. It's called Augmentative and Alternate Alternative Communication and it just fills in the gaps. Pretty cool. Wow. So this company's motto is every voice should be heard. It's something for us all really to live by. Yeah. We'll make sure we have Trump, <clears throat> excuse me, post this list on our Facebook page. So if you need help yourself or yeah. you want to send it to anybody else, uh, you're all set. So thank you, Kara Kinnear. You're welcome. Those are so good. Hope you learned something.